Mountain rain may have put a damper on the first day of Burning Man, but the gates are now back open in the Black Rock Desert. At a 607, the Las Vegas Police Union has filed a lawsuit against Metro in connection with the standoff at Bundy Ranch earlier this year. We now know what ride will take the place of the iconic Colossus coaster at Six Flags Magic Mountain. It's going to be called Twisted Colossus. I was a big Hello Kitty fan growing up right now. Brian's daughter loves the character, which very much resembles a kitty, but now it turned out this toy is actually not a cat at all. That's according to the Japanese company that owns and manages the Hello Kitty brand. So tell us a little bit about this event. We have so many food shows in town, but you say this one is really special because it just kind of includes the whole city. It's going to be a whole new adventure for them. They just arrived in the U.S. earlier this year from their native Afghanistan, but they tell me they're ready for school thanks to a woman who had been spending a lot of time with them over the last few weeks. We sat down with Philip Gervasi today. He served on the Clark County School District Police Force for 20 years, and he says what he saw during that time concerns him, and parents need to put power into their own hands when it comes to protecting their children. With SLS being a 24-hour resort and casino, you got to stay awake, right? So there is a actually a coffee shop in town, a European-inspired one called The Perk, where you can get coffee, all kinds of pastries and baked goods. So that's a great spot to stop by once you're here as well. I don't want Karen to be the only cool one here, so I got to get my hat on. But mine is Thank pink. You. Thank mine is you. pink, Karen, it's so it's a little cooler <laughs> than yours, I think. And purple is my favorite color, so oh. it kind of worked out for me. All right.